The ACT train story began in the 1980s. The world was hungry for plastics, and as a result, global ethylene and propylene demand was on the rise, but capacity was quickly limited by frequent plant maintenance. The average ethylene plant run length was just 18 months. The main culprit? Fouling. Severe polymer formation in the ethylene distillation section caused equipment failure, so licensors redesigned plants and reduced fouling, but not sufficiently. The improvements were not enough. In the early 80s, the big bang on ethylene fouling control came when Dr. Mike Farrell invented the use of Actrain inhibitor in ethylene distillation. In 1986, the first generation of Actrain was born and revolutionized fouling control in ethylene distillation forever, as it doubled and tripled equipment run lengths. In 1990, second generation Actrain arrived with multiple actives that brought a five-year standard run length. By 1992, 50 plants were treated with this technology. In 1999, a third generation of Actrain brought along new actives and products tailored for different columns and severity. 100 plants had been treated by 1994 and run lengths hit a record eight years. Fast forward to today, where Actrain is used in 65% and 38% of the global production of ethylene and propylene respectively across 155 plants. Actrain supports 40% of the world's plastic raw material production and has delivered $156 million of savings and cleaning costs to ethylene producers. If that's not enough, Actrain has also reduced half a million man hours of hazardous operations and increased ethylene producers' profits by $39 billion. Actrain supports all that is vital by helping raw material production for plastics increase energy efficiency. Actrain helps ethylene producers improve productivity, boost profitability, prioritize human health and safety, and conserve water.